Hello and welcome to the Tutoro film about Tutoro nozzles and helix. This short film will tell you about what you do with the nozzle and how you fit it to your bike. All our kits uh, are compatible with this which is the single feed nozzle. Uh, notice it has a bayonet at one end which allows it to be pushed into the end of the hose and achieve an oil tight fit. <clears throat> the second nozzle we're going to be talking about is the twin nozzle which fits in the hose in the same way and has these two oil feed galleries which allow it to put oil on both sides of the sprocket. The third thing we're going to be covering is the Tutoro Helix. This is a semi-rigid plastic pipe with a spiral wound aluminium around it which allows you to place it in position. This end would go into the oil feed pipe. This end would take either the twin feed nozzle or the single feed nozzle. But either way, once in position, it can be moved and set in position. Okay, quick top tip about fitting the uh, nozzles into the tube and or the helix. Now because this is a semi-rigid plastic and this is a, it's a fairly soft plastic, sometimes if in low temperatures this area can get quite stiff so a little bit of hot water from the kettle just leave it in for a few seconds that'll fit very easily make sure we get it right in up to the little black line on the single feed on the twin feed it's a little bit more difficult because it's a slightly larger bore but again as long as this has been softened in hot water it should be fine firmly push it in right up to the end there and that gives you good firm grip on the twin feed nozzle. The same applies to the hose, low temperatures, just a moment or two in some very hot water, recently boiled, and the nozzle will fit very easily. Once it all cools it'll be nice and tight. This is the Chaney Sprocket mock-up, which has been put together to show you about nozzle positioning. If we start with the single feed nozzle, which I've inserted into the standard pipe with the red wire within. And the purpose of the red wire, of course, is to be able to tie wrap around the swing arm or whatever part of the bike you're going to fix it to. And then you can basically bend the wire so that it positions the nozzle in the position that you want. The single feed nozzle uh, is suitable for all bikes and it can be routed to lots of different parts of the chain. We take this example here, obviously normally the swing arm would be taking up this space here so if we base our, our demonstration on that. The standard way to fit the single feed nozzle would be to cable tie it to the swing arm in this position and then have the single feed nozzle pressed against the side of the sprocket at about this position here just before the teeth meet and then the oil will run from there into the sprocket and teeth mesh. If that's not possible, say you have a single sided swing arm, you can position the nozzle so that it drips into the middle of the chain and that will also do the same job. On our off-road uh, motorcycles it's often preferable to have the oiler a long way away from the back sprocket because of all the mud that they go through so it's, uh, it's a favourite to mount the single feed nozzle so that it drips onto the top run of the chain just before it reaches the front sprocket. The best place if you are doing this and if you can do it is to actually put it just as it comes out of the front sprocket and that way the oil will get carried onto the back sprocket a bit quicker as well and you'll get less fling around the front sprocket. 
that's the way that the uh, enduro guys do it on their uh, national championship stuff. Right, <clears throat> moving on, the twin feed. Here we've got the twin feed inserted into the helix, which is our preference uh, for if you're going to mount a, a twin feed, use a helix, it makes it a lot more stable. Again, our swing arm is in this plane here, so we want to attach the helix to that swing arm, and then the, the oil feed pipe goes in this end of the helix. What we're aiming for is to get these pincers either side of the sprocket. So what we want to do is mount it like that. Now because your swing arm is actually over here, you can't do it as a straight piece. So the idea of the helix is to put a bend in it so that you can mount it to the swing arm and keep that straight, but also attach the twin feed nozzle so that it's gently resting in this position on the sprocket and is held so that the teeth pass through the widest part here. The thing that you need to watch out for and the thing that the single feed nozzle may be useful for is if your sprocket mounting bolts, obviously I've just got some screws here because it's mounted on a board, if these sprocket mounting bolts are right out here, which they are on such uh, models as the BMW F800 GS, then mounting the twin feed sprocket in this position is very difficult because you have a very small area of the sprocket, a very small land in which to position the nozzles. And if you get it wrong, then as the sprocket turns round, the bolts will knock the twin feed off and you'll end up with this sort of position this kind of uh, scenario. And if you mount it too far down and that happens, then it will get taken into the mesh there and chewed up. One last segment. The twin feed nozzle is also available as a standard kit without the helix. Here we have it fitted into the oil delivery tube uh, and the red wires you can see inside is for positioning. Um, fitted in exactly the same way as you would with the helix with the two nozzles just either side of the chain and it's very important if you're not using a helix but you need to get the cable tie that's securing this to the swing arm as close as possible to the nozzle. So you're going to end up with something very much like that. This is possible on some bikes, on some bikes it's not. You're just not going to get a stable enough fixing. Once you've got this in place and it's exactly where you need it then you route the rest of the oil delivery pipe back up to the oiler whether it's a manual or an automatic it's the same routine fix your nozzle first and run that up to the oiler here we've got a twin feed nozzle and a helix on a double sided swing arm standard setup Here's an oiler, and this is the routing that I've used. I apologise for the uh, grubbiness of this, but this is a, a motorcycle that's in use, and it's just come back from a a fairly long trip in the rain. The important thing about this is that the twin feed nozzle here is lightly gripping either side of the sprocket and is cable tied as close as possible to the end of the helix ensuring maximum rigidity. It's easier on this bike because the sprocket mounting bolts are quite a way in. But note how the uh, oil has cleaned the sprocket. It's much cleaner there than it is on the rest of it. <laughs> 